A brain-computer interface, or BCI, functions by translating a neural signal, such as the electroencephalogram, or EEG, into a signal that can be used to control a computer or other device. The procedure begins by attaching the EEG electrode cap to the subject's scalp to record brain activity. The subject is then asked to imagine several voluntary movements with their hands and feet, at which time a calibration procedure is performed which analyzes the characteristics of the EEG. As a result of the calibration procedure, the R-squared values and scalp tomography can be used to determine which electrodes and frequency bins will be used to guide a cursor on the computer screen. Subjects will then be able to move a cursor quickly to target areas, just by thinking about it. Hi, I'm Adam Wilson and I work in Justin Williams' lab in the Department of Biomedical Engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Today, I'll be showing you the procedure for recording brain activity called the electroencephalogram, or EEG, for controlling a brain-computer interface application. So, let's get started. You begin this protocol by connecting EEG electrodes to the subject's scalp through an EEG cap, which positions the electrodes according to the 1020 international system. To correctly position the cap on the subject's scalp, use a felt tip pen to mark the nasion, which is the intersection of the frontal and nasal bones, and the inion, the largest protrusion of the occipital bone. Find the halfway point between nasion and inion and mark it. This position is called the vertex. Find the CZ